Hello, everybody. Welcome to Shape It Up Live. And today we're talking about cellulite, which I know everybody is very excited about and cannot wait to talk about cellulite because who doesn't want to talk about cellulite, right? I know, cellulite. Let's talk about it. So, um, I'm going to, let's see. Okay, I just want to make sure all my settings are right and everybody can hear me. Um, so welcome again to Shape It Up Live today. Uh, my name is Nicole Simonin. If we've never met before, I am a personal trainer. I am the owner of Shape It Up Fitness, and I was a former ballet dancer back in the day, and I was also a physical therapist assistant. Um, I very much so enjoy helping women over 40 and help them get fit and feel more comfortable in their own skin. So thank you so much for being here. And if you would like more information about Shape It Up, you can visit me at shapeitupfitness.com. All right, so today we are talking about cellulite, what it is and what the heck we can do about it. <laughs> so um, what face do you usually make when you talk about cellulite? You know, some people don't wanna talk about it, some just, Crunch up their face like it's the most disgusting thing that ever existed in life. Some people call it cottage cheese. Some people call it orange peel. Some people call it dimpling. What is cellulite? Cellulite is very common in women. Unfortunately, we got the uh, genetic bum side of the stick on that one. The guys have it much better. Not to say that guys can't have cellulite, but generally speaking, it's more women. And I think a lot has to do with the thickness of our skin. Guys have thicker skin, so um, which I will get into more detail about the cellulite. But just know that us women, that makes us curvy and all that good stuff is, you know, the softness of our skin. So cellulite um, can appear as early as adolescence. And it usually has a lumpy, dimpled look. It's most commonly found in, most people complain about it in their hips and their tush, but you can also have it in your abs, your thighs. It can even be found in your calves and your arms. How exciting. <laughs> it can be pretty much anywhere. So the good news about cellulite is it's not a serious medical condition. Please be very clear, it is not to be confused with cellulitis. So cellulite and cellulitis are two totally different things. Cellulitis is very common, but it can be a very serious bacterial infection of the skin. Um, if you ever come in contact with me in person, I will be happy to share a fun and lovely story about when I was working as a PTA, a physical therapist assistant, and I had to do a debridement, a debridement on cellulitis. You will never want that ever. So <laughs> moving on to cellulite. Cellulite is body fat that is pushing through the skin. So imagine your muscle is here and then you have your skin on top. In between the muscle and the skin are collagen fibers, and they're kind of run up and down. And they look like sort of like a netting, um, kind of like, you know, the fisherman's nets, that kind of webbing. Um, so the webbing is in between the muscle and the skin. Now, in between that webbing is body fat. And basically, cellulite is body fat. And it is pushing, if you have a lot of body fat in a certain area, it is pushing against the skin and pushing against the muscle and causing that dimpling effect. So imagine if you had a fisher's net and you put um, like butter in it and you kind of squished it together, that pushing out is what we get and that's what gives you the look of cellulite. So why are we so bothered by cellulite? What is the first thing that comes to mind for you when you hear the word cellulite? And feel free to type that in the comment section um, if you're brave enough, because I know some people don't want to share. <laughs> but some thoughts that might come up is, oh, I'm overweight. Um, I'm not in shape. Maybe you really feel like you're a horrible human being because you have cellulite, because you're not thin yet. Um, 
you know, I think we have the standard where thin people are acceptable and heavier people are not. It's not the case. Um, so cellulite can be genetic and meaning you are predisposed to having it. It doesn't mean that you can't get rid of it. Um, you can get rid of most of it. It just depends on where genetically it's speaking, where it resides. So for me, for example, when I was 16 years old, that was the first time that I ever saw cellulite on the back of my thighs. If you know my back history, I was always a ballet dancer, and if you're familiar with ballet dancers, they need to be really thin. And at 16 years old, I weighed 115 pounds, and I had cellulite on the back of my thighs. So genetically speaking, my family, the women, have cellulite on their thighs and their tush. When I was dancing professionally, I also had cellulite on the back of my thighs, and I am five foot two and a half on a good day, and I weighed probably 98 pounds and still had some cellulite on the back of my thighs. So there in itself, if you want to use me as an example, it doesn't matter whether you're overweight or really thin. It's just body fat, okay, and it's just where it's stored. So body structure has a huge part in where your cellulite will land. If you are more of an endomorph, which is more of your pear shape, um, you will tend to have cellulite on your hips, your butt, and your thighs. For the endomorph, when you are sitting a lot, it actually breaks down more of those collagen fibers, which I think makes, as we get older, it makes the cellulite appear worse than it actually is. So the less you can sit, I'm not saying don't sit, but the less you can sit, the less you're going to have that breakdown of the collagen fibers. Um, if you are more apple-shaped, which usually you tend to hold your weight in your stomach, you may see cellulite in your stomach. You may not see it in your legs. Um, you may see it in your arms. It really just, again, depends on your body structure. If you want to know more about knowing your body types, I do have a um, video that you can check out, and um, I'll post it in the Facebook feed on the Shape It Up page, or you can go to YouTube and Google Know Your Body Type, or even to my website, and you can watch that and kind of understand you know, which of the three body types that you fall into because it really helps you figure out where you need to go for fitness and your goals. I digress. Um, so how do you get rid of cellulite, right? Because that's all we want to know. We just want to know how to get rid of it. So here are some of the crazy things that are available to us to get rid of cellulite. And let me know if you know of another thing that I don't mention, okay? So we have creams, lotions, which don't do anything. Um, a lot of times they have like caffeine in them and it kind of tightens up the skin. But when you stop using that, it's still there. Um, I've heard of rolling out your cellulite, which is kind of ridiculous. Like if you imagine a rolling pin and you're rolling the dough, that was pretty much the theory of rolling out your cellulite. Um, similar to like foam rolling, but in a different aspect, like you would roll on um, a hard surface. Uh, kind of like a rolling pin and basically roll out the cellulite. Doesn't work. <laughs> um, there is also liposuction. This is when they go in and they basically suck out the fat and remove it. Um, the thing with liposuction that a lot of times you don't hear about, one, it's very painful. Two, what they do is when you have body fat, you always have a primary body fat storage. So take me for instance, my primary fat body fat storage is my hips. And so if I were to get liposuction on my hips, um, there is a secondary fat site. So say my secondary fat site is my thighs. And if you get that taken out, so now you don't have any fat in your first site and you don't have any fat in your second site, when you gain weight, your body will gain weight in your third site because now your third site is now your primary site. So for instance, I was walking, or working with a lady um, and she had come to me and she was like, you know, I don't understand why my, um, my ankles are so much bigger. They never were big like that. And I asked her, I said, did you have liposuction? And she said, yeah, I had it on my stomach and my thighs. And I said, well, 
you have no fat storages now in your stomach and your thighs. And so when you gain weight, it goes to your other primary site. For some people, it could be their calves. It could be your, your lobes. It could be anywhere. So be very, very careful before you decide to do liposuction. Um, they, I did do another video on that topic, and I will put it in the feed, too, and you can check that out. But so, And then there's the other one. This is the really kind of popular one that is popping up, and it's called um, Cool Sculpting. And basically what that is is cryo liposis, which is a fancy word, it's medical terminology for freezing fat cells and making them die. <laughs> so cool sculpting, the problem with that again is when they go in with that tube, they are, remember back to the skin and the muscle and the collagen fibers and the fat, right? They take this tool and they shove it in there to get the fat out or to freeze it and they're destroying all the collagen fibers. So now you've destroyed this structure, this webbing that is in between your skin and your muscle. And if you never gain fat again, then you probably won't have an issue. But if you gain fat, it comes back in. And even if I read a study too on, um, you know how they say that the fat cells dies, well, they're proving that fat cells can regenerate. So it doesn't matter if you take them out or not. But what happens is if you gain weight, those um, areas now don't have that structure to hold the look and you will look very disformed. So if you got your abs done, you might have bulges of different things. You look very, it, it just does not look natural. So if you want my opinion, stay away from liposuction and cool sculpting. Um, so I was on one of the cool sculpting websites and I thought it was very interesting that they were talking about how the body digests food and the body, what they were saying is, is when you eat food, it gets processed and I'm sorry, when you eat fat in food, they were very specific. When you eat fat in food and it gets processed, I'm going to quote, it says processed fat gets used as energy and excess fat gets stored as fat. That is not the whole truth. Um, here's a problem that irritates me to no end with sites like this because they are playing on your emotions and it, it doesn't matter if you overeat fat, it doesn't matter if you overeat protein, and it doesn't matter if you overeat on carbs. If you eat too many calories and you don't burn them off, you're going to be storing fat, bottom line. So don't let them tell you that if you eat too much fat or you have too much fat that you're going to, um, that's the way your body works. It doesn't matter what macro you overeat in, you will still have body fat if you eat more than what your body needs. So make sure you stay away from the creams, the magic pills, the potion. They, it's snake oil being sold, in my opinion. So are you ready for the way to get rid of cellulite? Here it is. Are you ready? Very simple. Eat in a slight calorie deficit and lift weights. That's it. <laughs> That's really all it is. Now, there are some factors that are involved because everybody's a little bit different. Um, and certain things need to be put together in a certain order. But you really need to stop wasting your money on creams and lotions and expensive surgeries. Um, typically, what happens after any of those surgeries is that those people who, you know, had hope in the surgery, they didn't learn the tools and the skills that they need to maintain that weight loss after the surgery. Um, a lot of times people revert back very quickly, you know, to where they were before because they haven't learned these tools. So really stop putting a Band-Aid on the problem and start putting forth effort on an actual solution that works. So I hate to disappoint you. There is no magic pill. There are no magic creams. It's really about body fat and decreasing your body fat and getting it down to a certain point. Um, where you're comfortable and you know sometimes maybe you live life with a little bit of cellulite it's okay it doesn't make you a horrible person <laughs> um, I would like to invite you to take a chat with me if you would like it's a one-on-one -on -one chat it's a phone call conversation um, I really would love to hear what your 
ultimate fitness goal is, and I would love to be able to give you a tip or two to help you get a little bit closer to that goal. So if that's something that you would be interested in, I am gonna leave a link in the post and um, just click on the link and request a free consult with me. It's absolutely free. We're just gonna chat for 10 minutes. And um, I really like to find out you know, what you're struggling with and see if I can help you. So thank you so much for being here. And if anybody has a question, you can leave it in the comment section. Um, if you are catching this on the rebroadcast, you can also leave a question and I'll be happy to answer it. So that is all for me today. And remember to get fit, be fierce, and have no limits. I will see you possibly next Wednesday. I have some things coming up. So um, if I don't see you Wednesday, I will have a video for you that you can watch at this time. All right. So take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.